Welcome back to Mission to Mars. In this video, we will determine the flight of a spacecraft to leave Earth's sphere of influence. Through the Hohmann transfer, we calculated the elliptic trajectory of a flight from Earth to Mars, as well as the initial speed V1 of Earth's departure and final speed V2 of arrival at Mars. These speeds are based on the flight under the influence of the Sun, hence outside the spheres of influence of Earth and Mars. What we are going to do is to derive now the necessary flight conditions for the spacecraft to accelerate to V1 from a circular parking orbit around Earth to escape Earth's orbit and exit Earth's sphere of influence. To this end, we will use the energy equation and the equation and geometry of hyperbolic trajectories. As shown in a previous video, the expressions for a hyperbolic trajectory are the following ones. R of theta equals Rp times 1 plus e over 1 plus e times cosine theta and e equals vp squared over gm over rp minus 1. In these expressions, e signifies the eccentricity of the orbit and it will exceed 1. gm is the gravitational parameter of the planet around which a spacecraft orbits. When the spacecraft leaves the planet's orbit, the distance lowercase r between the centers of mass of the planet and spacecraft will grow unboundedly. From a mathematical perspective, this occurs when the denominator in the first expression in results 1 will approach 0. Hence, 1 plus e times the cosine of the angle theta infinity will equal 0. This is result number 2. In this result, theta infinity is the angle under which the spacecraft has reached an infinitely large distance from the center of the planet. According to the geometry of this hyperbolic trajectory, we find that the cosine of theta infinity equals the cosine of pi minus beta, which in turn equals negative cosine of beta. Hence, for given Vp and Rp, the eccentricity E and angle beta are directly determined. Next, we will calculate the condition for a spacecraft to escape from Earth's gravity. From the Hohmann calculations, V1 is the speed relative to the Sun of a spacecraft on its journey to leave Earth and reach Mars. Let's calculate these flight conditions around Earth that will allow the spacecraft to reach this particular velocity V1. The first step is to calculate the reference velocity V circ E of the spacecraft relative to Earth in a circular parking orbit of given radius rp. This is obtained as v squared circ e equals gme over rp, where gme is Earth's gravitational parameter. The next step is to calculate the velocity v1e of the spacecraft with respect to Earth. Since by the Hohmann formulation V1 is greater than VE, this departure relative speed V1e is obtained as the difference. V1e equals V1 minus VE. This is the velocity relative to Earth at a sizably large distance from the center of the Earth, which we denote as V infinity E. 
This is taken as an upper limit to the velocity at the edge of Earth's sphere of influence. The reference radius RE underscore SOI of Earth's sphere of influence is calculated as follows. RE underscore SOI equals RE underscore SMA times the following expression. GME over GMS to the power to fifth, where RE underscore SMA equals 149 million 598,000 kilometers, and it corresponds to the semi-major axis of Earth's orbit around the Sun. Also, GME and GMS, respectively, indicate the gravitational parameters of Earth and the Sun. With this specification, we then find that RE underscore SOI equals 924,647,5883 kilometers. This is 161,789 times smaller than the average distance between the centers of Earth and the Sun. The departure speed VDEP-E needed by the spacecraft to leave Earth's orbit is connected to V infinity E through the energy equation. This is V squared DEP-E minus 2 GME over RP equals V squared infinity E. The eccentricity E is then obtained as E equals V dep E squared over GME over RP, all of this ratio minus 1. Hence, cosine of beta that equals 1 over E leads us to calculate the angle gamma to be equal to 90 degrees minus beta. Let's now calculate the numerical values of these quantities for the Hohmann transfer case of a V1 that equals 32,7287 kilometers per second, and RP that equals the radius of Earth plus the height of a spacecraft over the surface of the Earth, and that equals 6,371,01 kilometers plus 412 kilometers, which gives us an RP that equals 6,783,01 kilometers. As far as GME is concerned, that equals 3,98, etc., times 10 to the fifth kilometers cubed per second. With all of these parameters, we find the following results. V circ E equals 7,66 kilometers per second, and omega circular E equals 0 0,001130, etc., radians per second. And as a result, V1E, that equals V infinity E, equals 2,94, etc., kilometers per second. And V dep E equals 11,23, etc., kilometers per second. And omega dep E equals 0, 0,00165, etc., radians per second. The angle beta is found to equal 29,37, etc., degrees. And the angle gamma is found to equal 60,6235 degrees. We observe that V dep E exceeds V circ E. Therefore, at the appropriate location on the circular parking orbit, the spacecraft must ignite its engine to increase its speed from V circ E to V dep E.
Only then can the spacecraft leave Earth's orbit. The appropriate location when the engine is ignited corresponds to the position vector RP making the angle gamma that equals 60,6235 degrees below the line connecting the centers of the Sun and Earth. With this B depth E speed, the spacecraft will leave Earth's orbit. It will exit its sphere of influence and undertake its journey to Mars. We will now compute the journey of our spacecraft to the edge of Earth's sphere of influence, or SOI in short. Based on calculations presented in other videos in this course, we will perform these calculations of the flight of the spacecraft as it escapes Earth's orbit through the use of non-dimensional quantities. These are obtained from the connections between dimensional and non-dimensional quantities as presented before. Specifically, these are that time t equals the dimensional reference time capital T times t tilde, R dimensional equals capital R times R tilde. VR equals the ratio of capital R over capital T times VR non-dimensional. Theta is the same as theta tilde. And omega equals 1 over the reference time capital T times omega tilde. And uh, GM tilde, the non-dimensional GM, equals uh, capital T squared over capital R cubed times the dimensional GM. And the tilde continues to denote non-dimensional variables. GM tilde can be made much smaller than the dimensional GM through a, an appropriate uh, selection of the reference time capital T and the reference length capital R, so that the ratio capital T squared over capital R cubed becomes much smaller than 1. The reference length R is uh, set equal to the initial condition for the dimensional R. In this case, capital R equals 6,782, 954 etc. kilometers, and as a consequence, R tilde, which is the ratio of uh, lowercase r and capital R equals 1, and that is so much smaller than the dimensional lowercase r. The corresponding non dimensional radius of Earth's sphere of influence is then calculated as the ratio of R tilde E. SOI equals dimensional RE underscore SOI over the reference length capital R. And that uh, yields 136,318, etc. Therefore, when uh, the computed R tilde reaches this magnitude, the spacecraft will have reached the edge of Earth's sphere of influence. The corresponding dimensional time is found to be 3,158 Earth days. That corresponds to 272,856 seconds. Next, consider the reference time capital T, which is expressed as the ratio of two times. Capital T equals dimensional time T over T tilde. And that also equals delta t dimensional over delta t tilde. As we have seen, the non-dimensional time delta t tilde is the time interval used in actual computations. And so, based on computational accuracy considerations, this uh, interval is set to a small number, less than 1. For instance, we may pick delta t tilde that is equal to 0, 0,0005. The dimensional time delta t equals a fraction of the time needed by the spacecraft for its journey to escape Earth's attraction and reach the edge of Earth's sphere of influence. As noted before, 
The time for this journey equals 3,158 Earth days. That corresponds to 272,856 seconds. Correspondingly, the reference dimensional time, capital T, which equals the ratio delta T dimensional over delta T tilde, will equal 2,000 seconds. And that is 136,428 times smaller than the journey time from Earth to the edge of Earth's sphere of influence. Now, with R that equals 6,782,954, etc. kilometers, and a reference time, capital T, that equals 2,000 seconds, the expression for the non-dimensional GM tilde yields 5,1089, etc. units. This derives from the product of capital T squared over capital R cubed times the dimensional GM. And this result of 5,108, etc. is significantly smaller than the dimensional GM, which equals 3,986, etc. times 10 to the fifth kilometers cubed per second squared. Based on uh, these considerations and calculations, the non-dimensional initial conditions become R tilde equals 1, V R tilde equals 0, theta tilde equals minus 1,05807, etc. units, and uh, the uh, angular speed omega departure from Earth tilde equals 3, 31236, etc. units. The total non-dimensional time for a complete journey to Earth's sphere of influence then equals 136,428 units. The non-dimensional computations are then carried out with the non-dimensional time step delta T tilde, which we have chosen to set equal to 0, 0, 0,0005. With this selection, these calculations will generate nearly 300,000 data points for a complete journey to the edge of uh, the sphere of influence of Earth. Once the spacecraft reaches the edge of Earth's sphere of influence, the continued flight of the spacecraft is then driven by the force of gravity of the sun. Because again, this flight is an unpowered one. We will now use the Python program in this course to calculate the spacecraft journey to Earth's sphere of influence. The non-dimensional magnitude of GM is entered in the parameters function. The initial conditions presented above in equations 2 are then entered in the initcond function. The program may then be run with an initial non-dimensional time of 0 and a final time of say 150 and a computational time step delta t tilde which equals 0, 0,0005. The program generates the solution and stores it in an external file named solution.txt, which may then be post-processed using Excel. We will open the solution.txt file in Excel and we will visualize this solution and obtain the flight trajectory of the spacecraft as it flies towards the edge of Earth's sphere of influence. As expected, the trajectory is hyperbolic and it approaches a vertical asymptote. In the next video, we will compute flights within Mars's sphere of influence. Thank you very much and goodbye. Dankeschön und auf Wiedersehen.